Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to The Godfather 2. Apparently we're in New York and we gotta go find uh, Michael Corleone. I wonder if we can drive that bulldozer. I kind of doubt it, but how do I get in there? In the end, I want to drive a bulldozer. You guys want to watch where you're going? Why don't you watch my dick going into your wife? That's right. Rude to me, I'll be rude to your... Be polite to your wife's vagina. <clears throat> Alright, I guess I can't get in there. Come on, you two, break it up. What, me and the fence have to break it up? Is that what you're saying? But I love that fence. It's a fence to me. Wait. There's a mission somewhere around here. A burglary? I'm not gonna do that. I own that place now. I'm big time. I don't do that little shit. Excuse me, sir. Can I have your vehicle? Oh, what happens if I, uh... That's what happens. Call the cops! Yeah, call the cops. It's okay, lady. Give me oh, the you're car. In deep shit now, man. Roger that. I heard Tom Hagen's in town. You know him, right, boss? Of course I know him. I started as an enforcer with the Corleones, back when I was just boosting cars. We all knew Tom. All right, this was a very glorious return to New York. I didn't fucking do it. We're just escaping Florida where there's a lot of violence. Look out, officer! It wasn't me. Smell bacon. Come on, let's split. That guy stole his own. Uh, that woman, she stole her own car. Should arrest her. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Hey, that was a pretty good uh, turn. That's where we're going. Yeah! Catch me! Hey, get out of the way! Did I crawl over that guy's lap to get out? That's a little creepy if I did. I wouldn't waste your time with that chick. What's up, Unless friends? Like Good to see y'all. It's good to be back to the Big Apple. Dominic, welcome back. Thanks. Uh, why all the men? What's, uh, what's going on? The government has me under investigation. They want to put me in prison. Wait for me in the parlor. The Senate is building a case. They have subpoenas for my businesses in Vegas, here, Florida. Dominic, they have someone who will testify against me. Who? Frank Pentangeli. Frank's dead. I, I saw him die. What you saw was Rosado setting me up. The detectives found him half dead, scared stiff, calling out loud that I turned on him. Me? It's been a while, son. How was Florida? It was good, Tom. Dominic, Tom Hagen has been my consigliere, and now my attorney. He's also family. If the Senate is coming for me, they'll be coming for him, too. I need to isolate him from my operations. He's going to join your family and be your consigliere. Tom will be removed from my payroll. Al Neary will handle the transition. Tom. Pay a visit to the senator. Dominic, you're making a name for yourself. Make sure people respect it. Goodbye. Consigliere. Just like old times. We're the bald brothers. Can we rub our bald heads on each other? <laughs> That's what I do. It's good to have you in the family, Tom. I just wish it was under better circumstances. Me too. There's been a lot Mike hasn't been able to tell me. But it's safer this way for both of us. You're my consigliere, Tom. I won't keep any secrets from you. Now, who was Michael talking about earlier? What senator? His name is Pat Geary from Nevada. He's a chairman on the Senate committee that's investigating Michael. We're going to get him on our side, Dominic, before this trial sees the light of day. It won't be easy. He's a United States senator. We can't just pay him off like some backwater judge. We won't have to. Sex is Geary's weakness. He's depraved. We're going to use this against him. There's a brothel nearby. Some of the girls there are managed by a woman named Rosa Scarlatti. She runs a national prostitution ring. Not really our stock and trade, but she's been loyal to the Corleones for years. Well, I, it's been my stock and trade. By the way, nice work back there. I, I have some uh, whorehouses. Not in real life. Blackmailing us. Maybe some whores in real life. That's the same thing. Comment. 
uh, Tom will advise you about attacking and defending businesses from the Tom's view. Look at all these sweet. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had to collect Next all the same. I... Alright, we gotta go to the strip club, the La Maison Rouge, which of course I took over a long time ago. So let's go check that wow. shit out. Stop being such a Melvin. It's a Melvin. Let's roll, dudes! Oops. Apparently I ran into a shelf. I didn't know how to... Oh. I guess I'm just gonna explore his house. Oh, it's locked. That was probably like I'm taking a shit. The Granados are attacking me? Well, I've got guys there defending it. This should be... We're under attack. They want their turf back. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to get out the house. I get confused and lost easily. There we go. You would think their front door would be more glorious. Let's roll, bitches! If Don Corleone goes to trial... Shit, this whole thing of ours could be made public. Well, it's our job to make sure that don't happen. Don't laugh. I was trying to avoid the lady. Damn it. Oh, this is a good driving. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, park right here. Good enough. Need to pick up some hooker. Woo! Bam! Hey, let's get this done quick. What do you mean? What are you in the rush for? Hey, honey tits. I know a quiet place where we could chat. Maybe grab some margaritas? Maybe I could grab your boobaritas? Smile at me again, gorgeous. Because I ain't never seen a smile as beautiful as yours. Mira, even I have standards, cabron. Fuck you! That was rude of you. I probably shouldn't have punched you in your throat, but still. Hey, slut. What's up, Doc? Rosa, hello. My name is Dominic. I know who you are. Tom told me you were coming. Did he tell you why I'm here? He did, and I can help. But you guys are asking me to sacrifice a lot. A life. I won't play along just out of loyalty, Dominic. You'll have to do something for me first. I can punch you in the throat. It's a deal. So what do you want? I want protection. Look, the state of New York has evidence that can bring down my whole operation. But if they go to trial, a lot of powerful men will have their dirty laundry aired in public. Men who would rather see me dead than on the witness stand. All right. What kind of evidence? Books, records, basically a list of every Tom, Dick, and Harry I've done business with. Dick. Including some men in Washington. The books are being held in a safe at the Federal Building. Get them back for me. Then I'll help you out. Hi. Why can't I just take whatever prostitute I want? Why can't I take like a ten dollar prostitute and... Oh well. We're gonna dance with this sexy painting. Oops, I put my face in her crotch. That's what she likes. Don't judge, judge me, Roy Orbison. <laughs> like, there goes our boss going down on a painting again. Hopefully it's like velvet. Somebody... Smashed up my car a little bit. Get in! Come on, Roy. I should probably look where I'm going. Aren't these guys gonna talk to me? They always do. I get in the car, they're like, blah, blah, blah. Guess they're moody today. What's up, moody blues? I think this is where I need to be. Perfect. Hey, guard. I'm just going inside. Don't worry about me. Okay, but hey, I should have parked the car just there. <laughs> oh, why don't we upgrade our guy a second? We got some money. Great, whatever. Um, my family, let's upgrade Dominique, Dominic, let's upgrade his backhand attack, is he maxed out everything, I guess we'll max out his backhand defense, I don't even know how to defend, so that was probably silly, and then let's, who's our really good guy, I think it's Leroy, this weirdo, Leroy, let's, can we get you a better weapon? You get silenced pistol. That's all right. All right, because we don't really need to get you a sniper rifle. Let's let's give you more health. Yeah, max up your health and make your survival better. So if you do get hit, you'll be around longer for people to revive you. That's cool.
Yeah, let's repark this. I know that's not very exciting, but on the off chance we do have to run and get away, I don't want to have to spend five hours trying to... There we go. Move the vehicle. Hey, nice booty. Here comes the donut. Here comes the judge! Here comes the judge! You like that reference? That's from Rowan and Martin's Laughing. He's like, I don't even know that show. All right. So, hey, what is the guard doing? He's just like, you're doing a good job sweeping. I like how we're wearing bulletproof vests here. They don't even seem to bat an eye. When are you going to find someone to recruit? Come on, Let me take a crack there. at that thing. Don't oh, let fuck. these guys oh, you know oh, who fuck. you're fucking with. You will. I need fight. it open. There's still time. Give it up. Well, what you gonna do no, now, boss? no, no, don't shoot my safe cracker. Peter the phony. That sounds bad. See someone else get hurt? That sounds really move. bad. Okay, we got what Rosa wants. America said to suck on thyroid. Don't make me kill you. Alright, let's go, dudes. Go! America said run! Son of a Hit. Serpentine! Serpentine! See him? Over there! Keep going. I saw something I want. I know this isn't probably the most best time in the world for this. Go, guys! Go, go, go! Hop in! Roy, get your fucking dumb ass in here! I'm a policeman! Holy shit! These cops are... Oh shit, rolled mother blocking! They react. Oh fuck! Everybody out! Everybody out! Run! Run to Rosa! She don't love you no more. Holy fuck, these cops are nuts. I'm going for a late night run in my bulletproof vest. Don't worry about me. Don't worry, hookers. The cops are chasing my friends! This is a perfect crime. I got the evidence. Here you go! Please tell me you've done something about those records. The state's got nothing on you, Rosa. Or your clients. You're all safe now. Good, then let's get down to brass tacks. I already started making arrangements with Tom. We have the room and we have the girl. If Geary ever shows up here, we'll be ready for him. Wait, you talked to Tom? When? Just now. He's here. He wanted to see the girl we'll set up with the senator. It wasn't easy knowing what will happen. But her time has come. She's an addict, bad for business. Maybe it's better this way. Wait, what's that? Gonna... All right, I'll talk to Tom. What's up, Leroy? Quit grabbing your cock. Uh, where is Tom? Are you Tom? Oh man, I hope nobody's coming. <laughs> he said he hopes nobody's coming. I'm guessing a lot of people will be coming in here. Hey, remember when I beat you earlier, lady? Oh, can we get into your safe? There. I got the combination, boss. Yeah, do you Walk do that? This way, right? We still got a deal, but yeah. you better hold up your end of the bargain. I am. I'm waiting for fucking Leroy Brown, the baddest student in the whole damn come town. Come on, come on. Open Crack the safe. It. Now. Shit, almost had it. Watch me spin with my sex dance moves. Are you watching your lady parts for spinning? I don't feel good. Blah. I'm gonna borrow this money. Yoink, I'm never gonna pay it back. Let's roll, bitches. Tom. T -t -t Tom, Tom. It's your brother Garmin. What's up, Tom? Tom, it sounds like everything's all set. Almost. The only thing left now is to convince Senator Geary to pay a visit. He'll have to do it of his own accord. If Geary feels coerced into coming, he might see it as a setup. I know. That's why you have to be careful how you talk to him. I've arranged a meeting for you. The senator thinks you want to talk about purchasing a company and that you need his help. Good. Now all I have to do is get Geary to take the bait. Best thing to do is to appeal to his vanity. Tell him you're having problems with the deal. Political problems, business problems, whatever seems to draw his attention. Geary's got connections. Make him think you're willing to deal if it'll get him on board. Now go. He's waiting for you. I thought I was the boss. Hey, sexy booty. But I wasn't talking to Tom, I was talking to the lady. Tom was probably like, I thought my booty was sexy. Sorry, guard. Man, that's a good guard. I hit him and he just stood there and took it. 
I'm impressed. Give that man a raise. Apparently a cabbie um, decided to bring some prost uh, come get a prostitute. I broke up with some skag out here. I told her to take a hike. That's a great story, Matt. Uh, can you move guard? I pay you. I don't want to run over you. Unlike the people I don't pay. Oh. I can't be safe. <laughs> there are down power lines everywhere in the city. Or light posts. Alright, so he should be right around here. Good job, parking. Parkalicious. Mm, I need some cigarettes. Get my smokes up. Oh, can I smash that up? Go oh, get cigarettes! Look, I saved children. Are you proud of me, Leroy? But why can't we wait a couple of years? There's the police department. It's a good spot for a bomb, Chief. Jesus Christ! Mom's a good spot for a bomb. Sorry, I'm. You blind. know what? If I blow those fuses, this it'll cut the moves. lights. Yeah, blow the fuses just in case. It's gonna make the meeting work better. Blue wire, green wire, and. We're not. Consp uh, it's normal what we're doing. Good job. Good job, dude. Why are you scared, lady? Let's just saw the power go out. Oh, I, I have control of this place. Hey, guard, dude. I'm gonna impress him. It's time for America! America just happened. How do you feel about that? Senator Geary, my name is Dominic. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. This is a nice place your man Hagen found for us. Man. But let's cut the bullshit. What did you want to talk to me about? Business. Business, Senator. I have an opportunity to purchase a foreign company, but there are a few partners who refuse to sell. You know them. You worked at the trust together. I was hoping you could help. So your money talks the talk, but it can't walk the walk, is that it? Let me guess. These guys looked into what you really do for a living, didn't like what they saw. So why should I help you? Um, because I need your connections? Because nobody's connected like you, Senator. You pull strings every day. You're on every big ticket committee in Congress, and half of Wall Street owes you a favor. I need a man like you. You don't need me, then. You need my friends. But I'll tell you now, my friends don't like your friends. In fact, they despise your kind of people. And your silk suits and oily hair. Does my guy look like he wears a silk shirt? He's got like one pair of jeans and a shitty old t-shirt. Don't insult me, Senator. We're both part of the same hypocrisy. So never think you're above me. You know this deal is valuable to me. And it can be valuable to you too. Are you gonna help me? Maybe. And I'll tell you why. Because if this deal's as valuable as you say, I'm gonna wanna keep an eye on you. Because I don't think this is about some foreign company. What's really in it for you? Power, Senator. I need your help because other men want this deal as much as I do. Is that such a bad thing? To be more powerful than your rivals? And if we get rich in the process, so be it. Now we're getting somewhere. Say it ain't about business or politics. It's about showing up your rivals. At least now you're being honest. So this deal, does anyone else know about it? Just you, me, and Tom Hagen. I need to bring Tom in on this, but he can take from my share of the cut. But I want to move fast, so I need to know. Are you in or out? You know what? I don't have to like you, but I like your style. I'm in. I get my friends to help for a fee. But in deals like this, I usually expect there to be other benefits as well. Naturally. These partners have executive privileges at gentlemen's clubs all over America. If that's something that might interest you, I could make sure you get on the list, so to speak. Is that so? Yes. Well, indeed, I would like to be on that list. So to speak, of course. Well, Senator, as a token of my friendship, how would you like a complimentary stay at La Maison Rouge? In fact, feel free to visit any time you're in New York. You'll always be welcome. I like your style. Okay, Dominic, it's a deal. Thank you, Senator. I'll have Tom contact you with the details. Yay, now he can get his dick wet. You're all right. I'll see you around. Enjoy yourself, Senator.
He's waking up. You should get over here. Thanks, Tom. I'm on my way. Tom? Come on, step away. I thought we could help you. Hagen, listen. I did not... I didn't do anything. I know. It's okay. You're very lucky I was called before anyone else. Nobody knows. Just a game. I... I'll fix it. How did it happen? I... I remember. She was laughing. I passed out. When I woke up, I was on the floor. <laughs> Senator, we're putting a call into your office. Explain that you'll be there tomorrow afternoon. You decided to spend the night at one of our hotels as a guest. Jesus! Pat, look at me. This girl has no family. Nobody knows that she worked here. It'll be as if she never existed. All that's left is our friendship. Now we're the best of friends, because we got a dead hooker. Dead hookers always bring people together. Alright, next time I'll um, talk to the senator and we'll see what happens next. You got something to say to me, Tom? I'll take care of the senator, but you should talk to him before you leave. Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's go say hi to the dead hooker. Poor dead hooker.